Hey everyone, super excited about this flute here. Recently made for uh, America's largest Christmas bazaar. It was a good show that I vended. It was a fun time. But uh, this flute was made for that. This is a figured maple flute. You can see the curl in the grain there. And I use this um, dye called trans tint. It's basically um, a pigment that you drop into water. It only takes a few drops, probably 20 drops in a little bit of water. And then you can just rag it on and you can get whatever colors that you want out of that. This is the first uh, true red flute that I've done. I've done sort of a wine colored burgundy dragon flute in the past. But this one here is a real beauty. Immediately I thought of dragon again. I love making dragons. I think the biggest reason why I like making dragons is because no one can tell you that it's, uh, that it's wrong. You can't say, oh, the, the dragon's beak's not supposed to be that way or... Well, that's not the way their eyes look, because I can make it however I want. It's up to my imagination. So I love that freedom, but it's a beautiful looking flute. It does have some turquoise inlay over here, like this. It's got Macassar ebony, always a great accent wood. Macassar ebony isn't one of the true black ebonies like Gabon or, or, uh, or other ebonies. This is uh, one with a lot of deep browns and, and black streaking throughout that. Beautiful looking flute. Also has some burl in it right there. I don't know if you can see that too well. Right in there. Really, really nice. Really like this flute. And uh, plays wonderfully too. I thought the the blue leather made the made the eyes stand out real nice. I really like that look there. But the most most important part is the sound, of course. We'll play it for you. It's an F sharp minor, and uh, hope you like it too.